Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, it's Sarad and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into Pisces, Sun, Moon and also Rising. Uh, weekly tarot reading February 21st up until February 27th, uh, 2022 and uh, should you be liking the content of this channel and uh, you do wish to support us just leave a like subscribe hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and uh with that said let's now make the cut and uh see what you got guys uh first one that we do have for you that is going to be the 10 of uh, swords followed by the second card which stands as the four of uh, cups Moving next, uh, we do have uh, the Eight of a Pentacles, followed by the fourth card here, which stands as the Two of Swords, and the final one that we have, that is going to be the King of Cups. And I do wish to draw one more card here for the King of Cups, so I can show, show you, tell you a little bit more about uh, that person. We have the Hierophant. All right, so that is a very, very promising individual here that has a huge thing to offer you. But how this is going to play out, we are going to check into the reading that it is coming up. Okay, so you can see your spread on the screen, Pisces. And it will be an interesting week, to say the least. Especially for those of you, Pisces, who are not having much things to do. It is like entered. you, you have entered into... A, a very static a, and stoic even a day-to-day -day routine doing a repetition of the same things over and over again it's just there is nothing exciting that it is uh, going on but nonetheless uh, you are you are having some plans for the future and uh, in this week especially the first half of the week itself just give me a second here uh, especially in the first half of the week, uh, you are about to uh, do the thing enough, it's enough. And uh, the very first uh, few days, uh, you are to make some uh, choices. We can see that into the Ten of Swords. Now, usually Ten of Swords, people consider as a very negative card. And it, it can be. It can be, all right, but it needs to have a very specific follow-up so you can count the card as a some kind of a loss or a tragedy that is to happen. For example, the tower card afterwards, that means that um, you have a lot to handle, okay? A lot of losses to cope with, but here that's not literally the case. We have the Four of Cups, which is uh, afterwards, and that pretty much uh, these two cards, the Ten of uh, Swords and the Four of Cups, which follows after, pretty much speaks about that uh, repetition I am talking about here and the boredom that sets in with the repetition itself. And then the Ten of Swords at the very start of the uh, of the week, it kind of represents the, 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 the line draw, where you draw a line, and you say, you know, enough, it's enough. I'm doing the same things with my love life or with my career, right? Or, or, or with my friendships every single day. And it is just, I am stumbling into one place, no progress, uh, uh, no satisfaction, you know, no nothing. I mean, it had emotional satisfaction and I'm not saying the things are going bad for you. They may be going great at that point, but this great was going on. The same greatness was going on for far too long. And as we are humans, we need progress. We need something new to, to re-excite, re-ignite the spark of excitement within us. And that something new as a either a plan or as a either a, an opportunity is about to come in the very first stage of the week here with the Four of Cups. Uh, first stage, I mean, from the start to the middle of the week. And with the Four of Cups, while you are to enjoy the fruits of your labor, which you have accomplished thus far, either into your career or either into your relationship, uh, you are about to start detaching emotionally from them, uh, almost like taking them for granted, which they are. And uh, you are to address your environment more mentally meaning logically more calculatively and this is where exactly that um, new enterprise is going to show up as you can see in the card we have a person staring in the four in the three cups which are in front of the or in front of him representing the emotional satisfaction of the accomplishments thus far but 
that there are no more satisfaction, additional satisfaction into them. While the, a, a new offer is coming your way and that new offer you need to turn your uh, head around or rather like sideways to see it. And in order to do so, it needs a, a realization that this is what you got, nothing more comes out of it. So I have to look out, look around for something else. And that is exactly what you do, either through a plan uh, or either through a, just a, uh, a random opportunity that comes your way. It seems that you are going to set your, um, how can I put it into words, uh, your mental qualities at work and uh, thus that amazing opportunity is going to be yours to take and in fact you are going to do a really really good job uh, with it under good job i mean a very good performance now that opportunity could relate to a romance it could relate as well to a career task or other like a project that you may uh, decide to start to design for yourself and so on and so forth but having the middle of the week with the eight of pentacles uh, that pretty much points that your methodical move with it it kind of speaks about your experience that you can put into the enterprise itself having that keen eye for the details for the subtleties into it will allow you to uh enter into the situation or into the enterprise itself and uh, address every single aspect of it with and perform into it as well with a, a huge portion of conscientiousness and people is just going to enjoy having you at their side and at that point whether it is through a circumstantial events or, or straight away direct involvement uh, you are to see that at this stage of the week some kind of a plan you had from the past now can be uh, developed now it can be manifested into the real world something more practical here i would say it is that you pisces who are single it's very important that you shake off you know the um the routine because uh, with the eight of pentacles especially for single people that should be the moment where you do start walking out into the world and start introducing yourself to new people because a new romantic interest comes about here especially if you're single okay that is a very strong romantic interest uh, at the end of the week but only if you do walk out and start introducing yourself into new social circles into new people as well uh, if you can't if you are under quarantine for example dating apps are a good version of it i don't know why people are uh, so damning about these uh, these apps it is just a an, uh, an alternative way to meet new people but uh, after this uh, how can i put it in towards developing start of the week things are going to come down um towards oh i do apologize I have some kind of an allergy and nobody can figure out what kind of an allergy I have. Everywhere I go, I just sneeze. doesn't matter how clean it is. It doesn't matter where among nature or in, in houses. I just sneeze. It's, uh, it's very off-putting. But uh, from the mid towards the end of the week, things are going to slow down and calm down. And that is uh, because uh, at the middle of the week where you do address this uh, new opportunity with everything you got as a, uh, as a meticulous performance, consistency and so on and so forth, uh, you, have, uh, you are going to find yourself doing the most you can at that stage of the opportunity of the enterprise whether it is a, a relationship or whether it is a, a a business and now it's time to think about your new move now with the two of swords you're gonna have at least a couple of options available and that is a at least for example two people to choose from whom to date with for example two projects to start into two ways to develop that plan here which now it's very possible with the eight of pentacles and all of these options available are going to seem applicable, equally applicable, equally feasible, that is. So you will have a hard time choosing here uh, which way to go forward with. And that is what is going to exert the peace. 
the physical piece that is and it should exert the, the peace of mind as well the very least because each of these options available is going to work out for you now the question is which is better well with the two of swords the better option available or the right option available becomes obvious with time so you wait and as you wait the less profitable or the less um yeah well let's say it that way the less profitable options available are going to start start dropping off from the plate for example if we go with this that you have two people to date with if you do wait long enough one of them is going to lose interest and therefore the other that is still maintaining its interest into you is the right option available because uh, that way at least you know that they aren't going to bail out should you face a time where you need to be uh, alone for a while and uh, yeah, with the two of swords, basically uh, the parable stands that before you decide what to do, you need to consider all points of view. And one of these points is how long that enterprise is willing to uh, willing to wait for you. And the whole process here is going to uh, eliminate the, uh, the incentive of drama, dilemma, and in generally being stuck with not knowing what to decide. And while you are waiting for the right options available for the right option to to become obvious to you, everything is going to linger on an equilibrium. Uh, therefore, you will have no extremes. <laughs> and no crises to think about and the option available that is going to reveal to you comes through this person here which i said king of uh, king of cups and uh, whether it is about business or whether it is about relationship that individual it's uh it's going to step up uh towards you with an offer now this offer it's um, undeniably something that it's very difficult to argue with uh is it a good or not it's it's literally a an, an amazing offer coming your way here uh again whether it is an offer to start doing business together or to take on a project they have as a client uh, as they are your client or it is just a an offer to start dating uh the, the king of pentacles the king of cups i'm sorry especially catalyzed with the with the hierophant they are very genuine and uh, not just only genuine but also very understanding in a sense of that they do understand that things cannot happen overnight and it takes time and it takes uh, the, the whole process is all also takes experimentation it's just they are very aware that things are not going to be always smooth they are very experienced as well into what they are offering to you so you can expect a fair treatment uh, should that be about a, a romantic endeavor here they are uh, very into you even if they do not show it here because they are uh, their stand it is that should they are in love with somebody uh, only that somebody is worthy of seeing their true feelings and uh, especially about romans they are about to show you what the true meaning of love is at least for them and you are going to like it because before they are to they they try to get you into their bed let's say it that way they will first going to try to prove themselves as trustworthy and very reliable so that's not just somebody who wants to get into your pants okay and uh, in terms of a business proposal that business proposal it's going to be rather very generous and as well uh, you have a great deal of influence and as well skills to either acquire or learn from and uh, that is your uh, weekly general reading Pisces hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it guys and we are to see each other next time until then bye